was such a huge supporter of my career early on. I come to watch and support her as she supported me. Well, I always loved Donna's shows. They're always exciting. And the great thing about her stuff is you can take it off the runway and it's very wearable out in the world. When I think of Donna Karen, I think of real women fashion. She always has the best hair and makeup people, best manufacturers, so it's just the best of the best. It's all about quality with Donna, isn't it? Quality in terms of design, quality in terms of fabric. This is what Donna does, and I'm just kind of amplifying or saying the same thing with the hair, really. It's like a deep side part, right, with this very chic, chillax kind of feeling at the front. So it's really about perfection, like this beautiful part, hair tucked over the ear. There's going to be this amazing, like, ringed earring that goes around the ear. Well, the whole point is, you know, how we always kind of wear our hair back, and it's a new way, it's sort of body jewelry. So it's accessing the body and taking an earring to a whole other dimension. If I was to take an icon like Lauren Bacall, there's a, like a, a beautiful arched eyebrow, a kind of a rose buddy tawny lip, and then this very kind of beautiful minimal skin of just lots of moisturizer on top of the cheekbones. And then the eyes, we've got this kind of beautiful kind of pale bone color all the way across the eyes. It brings a little bit of beauty, but still in that kind of minimal, more graphic way. I loved all the tailored with the chiffon and the, and the tool and the passementries and the beading. I love the girl. Not that I knew, I didn't know I was a gold on my fan, but I liked it when she did it. <laughs> As a black person that I can never get enough black, what's the best accent? Gold. You know, it reflects the city, it reflects the energy of the city and all of that. There's a lot of beauty to this look and you still feel the woman. Nothing like a Donna Karen woman.